Possibly the most well-known royal family in the world is that of the United Kingdom. Their lifestyles are the epitome of wealth, status, and privilege. But not every royal leads an extravagant and rich life. Some even use public transport, follow their passion, and even participate in sports competitions like a commoner. Today, we are going to tell you a story about the poorest royal family in the world, which will certainly leave you surprised and with a nice smile on your face. So, without any further ado, let's start. Norway's royal family has a far less opulent lifestyle than other royal families because their country has one of the least wealthy kingdoms in the world. With 26 opulent houses, Queen Elizabeth and the company cost 500 million US dollars a year to maintain, whereas Norway's royal family only has nine properties and costs 7.3 million US dollars. Well, it's awkward. So, just leave the comparison here and focus on the Norwegian royal family. King Harald and Queen Sanja are the family's current rulers. Norway is seen as a constitutional monarchy, similar to the UK. The head of state is one person, however, their functions are primarily ceremonial. The parliament, which encompasses the nation's elected entities, has the lion's share of the authority. Following the passing of his father, King Olav V, he came to the throne in 1991. Harald, the monarch's only son, and third child was announced crown prince at birth. He was not always bound by his royal responsibilities though. Things went quite the opposite from here. The king even competed in sailing for Norway at the Olympic Games in 1964, 1968, and 1972. Now crown prince Hakon and princess Martha Louise are the couple's two offspring. Prince Hakon is first in line to the Norwegian throne, notwithstanding princess Martha's age. In comparison to other royal families in Europe, the Norwegian royal family has the simplest life, and its king is one of the world's poorest heads of state. Even on ceremonial occasions, the Norwegian royal family's casual attire sets them different from other nobles. Additionally, they attempt to generate their own income rather than rely on government assistance. For instance, Prince Harkin collaborated with the band to make a Christmas single. The song was so popular that the prince gave all the proceeds from the joint effort to charities. The royal family of Norway now has a net worth of $30 million. Although it sounds like a large lot of money, King Harald V himself acknowledged having roughly 13 million euros in his bank account a few years ago. However, in the king's opinion, this amount is also a little exaggerated. The Norwegian royal family has the least fortune among the European royal families, mostly due to its relatively young age, yet it has a history spanning more than 100 years. The Norwegian royal family also has a 1937 built boat, a 1937 built Cadillac used for ceremonial ceremonies, and a royal train. The Glucksberg royal family is proud of their boat, Norway, which is the biggest yacht possessed by a European royal family. The cost of maintaining the monarchy, which includes the costs of the official royal residence and their personal protection, is reportedly 72.3 million US dollars each year. These sums are a far cry from the richest royal family's boasts, like those of Saudi Arabia, which costs 1.4 trillion dollars. King Harald, Queen Sanja, and Crown Prince Hakan, who is wed to Crown Princess Met Marit, are the main figures in the royal family. Princess Ingrid Alexandra and Prince Sver Magnus are the crown prince's two offspring. Princess Martha Louise is the daughter of the king and queen. The Norwegian royal family has a reputation for being cool and leading rather ordinary lives despite their lower money. The beautiful royal couple had to endure a lot before they could live together. Their union developed into one of the monarch's strongest unions. In fact, Harold and Sonia both had birthdays on the same day. They first connected at a friend's gathering. Saleswoman Sonia had aspirations of becoming a fashion designer. Her parents, Carl August Haraldsson and Dagny Ulriksson, welcomed her into the world in Oslo. She earned degrees in several fields throughout her education, including fashion design, French, and art history. Olaf V, Harald's father, was against his son dating a commoner. But in some ways, Harald and Sonia's romance was no longer a secret because of the pervasive media, and the Norwegian populace has now publicly endorsed the hare's decision. The crown prince finally decided that he would either wed Sonia as his bride or never get married. 
in which case he would immediately forfeit his title to the kingdom after becoming weary of rubbing tums with his father. At last, Love One and Norway celebrated the king's submission. One of the most significant occasions in Norwegian history was the union of Harald and Sonia. By the way, the King of Norway is the current Queen of England's cousin because he is a direct descendant of Queen Victoria's eldest son, Edward VII. King Harald has been a longtime fan of water sports at the age of 84. He is well recognized for participating in three Olympic sailing competitions in the 1960s and 1970s. Even at the age of 79, he competed in the Sailing World Championships in Toronto and took second place. He is still sailing today. He celebrated turning 80 the next year by taking his family on a surfing vacation to South Africa. He is without a doubt the European royal family's strongest athlete. There are more talented athletes in the royal family. Crown Prince Hakon, their son, and Princess Martha, their daughter, like going camping in their spare time in addition to being skilled in horseback riding, sailing, skying, and surfing. The Royal Palace in Oslo the Prince Hida Ski Lodge, the Vaidi Farm, and the King and Queen's private vacation residence, Majiro, are just a few of the remarkable private assets that the family has managed to retain. For the average person, this may appear to be a sizable portfolio, but in comparison to the 26 mansions owned by the British royal family, it is a small collection. Prince Hakon enjoys making jokes on formal occasions. For instance, he abruptly vanished and then resurfaced on the day of his parents' anniversary. His beard vanished, and everyone was pleased because he had never shaved before. The crown prince and his wife would often sing along with the children's choir when the royal family members came on the balcony, but sometimes the crown prince even danced. Like his father, Prince Spill began to dance and make expressions on the balcony. But can you see a member of the royal family using the subway? The fact that the prince was traveling on the same train as them did not surprise the Norwegians. The royal family would not go by private jet to secluded islands for vacation, would not stay out of sight behind high walls, and would not employ vicious bodyguards. For instance, the crown prince traveled to Ibiza with his family and friends to some bathe last summer. Even Princess Mate Marie did not wear a stunning bridal gown or have a lavish checkup at the hospital like the British or Spanish royal families. The Norwegian royals have been photographed using public transportation and even boarding standard domestic flights like everyone else, while other royal families stress over security, entourage, and exclusivity. In Norway, it is not unusual to travel by plane or rail and sit next to a prince. Crown Prince Hakon and Princess Martha Louise attended regular public schools like everyone else because private education is uncommon in Norway. Second, in line to the Norwegian throne, Princess Ingrid Alexandra went to a public school. Harold V., her grandpa, went to a similarly typical education for a man of his rank. Before attending college, the Crown Prince attended Oslo Cathedral School. King Harold and his family like small-scale birthday gatherings, and the monarch's birthday is only observed as a national holiday when it coincides with an important anniversary. However, King Harold and Queen Sanja, who were both born in 1937, frequently conduct joint events and like combining significant anniversaries like their 80th birthdays and the 25th year of the king's reign. The royal palace in Oslo is now home to the Norwegian royal family. The house was initially constructed for King Charles Ayua John in the early 19th century. It currently has 173 separate rooms, including a chapel of its own. To be honest, it feels that this royal family will get along with us quite well. Don't you think so? Tell us what you think about the poorest royal family in the world. Express your thoughts in the comments below. Well, this brings us to the end of today's video. Hope you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, and for more such videos subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys at the next one. Until then, peace.